Sabui is a 15 years old boy from Azerbaijan. He is a 10th grade student who has had since to big passions, drawing and playing the piano. He has tried to improve both of them over the years, but thinks to be now a bit better boy. That's also the reason why he applied to the talent show with two piano adapt adaptations. Firstly, I'm going to start with the piece called uh, Dilberim. It's an Azerbaijani, and it's been, it's composer as Deferzat um, Barlin, uh, one of the most famous composers in Azerbaijan. So, let's get a play.
Uh, its name is Aman Ayrılık. Its composer is Emin Sabit Oğlu. <laughs> themselves so <laughs> I think something with my voice seems quite useless um so yeah I just I can it was so beautiful to listen to it honestly you're so talented thanks what can I say okay you said that you, you said for this concert that was a total lie that was just like so amazing oh my gosh I'm really so impressed with that and I think my favorite one was definitely the folk. You said it was a folk piece, right? And it was just so, so, so beautiful. As Sophie was saying, some things just can't be put into words. And I think um, that with that your amazing performance. So thank you so much. It was such an amazing privilege to listen to. And I would also like to know, how long have you been playing? It was just like so incredible. I said approximately one and a half year. Uh -huh. Huh? Oh my yeah. goodness. Okay. That's insane. Uh, go away. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's, uh, there was lots of dismotivators around me, like, uh, you will not be able to do that. And actually, they motivated me to do this. Oh. Uh, How did you learn that? Uh, for six months, uh, I did a routine. About four and four to my day, I did uh, work on piano, and so I can play. Oh my gosh, that's just incredible! Oh my goodness, round of applause. <laughs> Thanks again.
a melancholy and real feelings. Terry wine is a broken memory for you all. A big applause for hikers. See you. I'm going to sing you a song. It's like a, this song is like a bunch of memories from the past and the present. So I don't forget the lyrics.
It was... so... <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know where to start, but I'm just fascinated. Um, so at the beginning, you, you said that it has many, many memories, and I think I so you were kind of sharing your memories with us uh, in a sort of way. And um, yeah, it, it was just so, so big, so emotional. Uh, I'm real nervous. <laughs> <laughs> a roller coaster of emotions, like <laughs> memories of, I mean, uh, when I started to, to learn guitar, a this song and I was like when when I when I'm able to, to play this song like I will feel like I'm complete. Well <laughs> I feel so I don't know um, I'm happy. I think that's that's a word a lot, a lot of happened from that time like five, six years ago to now and it was worth it. Eva Taheta is a girl from Indonesia who started to learn dubbing twice over one year ago. She joins a dubbing class in her city where she meets successful voice actors with them. She is struggling to, to improve because as her mentor told her she has to have more voice characters and nation. Let's see what she can do. Ha! I can't take this anymore! Oh, wait! Ah, oh, she is the third babysitter this week! Ah, oh, I don't understand. My child aren't naughty. Mom, is only the okay? Ah! Or I have to find another babysitter! Huh. I called everyone. Oh, wait. Miss Molly? Kiko! Are you busy? <laughs> Do you want to be my children's babysitter today? Babysitter? I don't know who. I have to ask. I have to go to office, meet my client. <sighs> if I can't get the project, I cannot get school fee for my children. <laughs> I don't know what I have to do. Okay. Yay! Comes to my host an hour later, okay? Bye! Hey, Miss Molly. I'm sorry. It's my friend, Platino. He'll help too. Shh, Platino. Hello. Come in, come in. Thank you so much for coming. Let me introduce my children. That is Vivi, Spy, and Ro. Where is Rocky? Meow, meow, meow. Huh? Oh, come here, baby. Okay, this is the time. Okay, this is the schedule for my children. After long, they must sleep. Then, they can eat snacks. But, don't so much. Then, read them a story. OMG, I forget to read the contract. The point is, give them encyclopedia or anything I prepare it. At 5, they must take a bed and brush their teeth. Whoa. I'll go home at 6. Please, there's not fine. Can we play it? Oh, of course. You can play it with children. Yay. Hey, still with the plane? Okay, operation today start. We want to throw so many babysitter. Today, we're gonna kick them. We must kick them and take our PlayStation 5. Uh. Ah! What a bad kiss! Yeah. Hey, stop! Mm. Whoa! Oh. Run! Operation done! We did 
did it. Get down. Polly, go up. Thank you for help, Rocky. Yeah, thank you. It's my job to be babysitter. Oh, oh my god, we do nothing yet. We can't start it now. Okay, hello everyone. Um, honestly, uh, I am so sorry because I can't doing a uh, live performance like you guys doing. Uh, like, you know, guys, I think it's being live. It can, but with uh, modern technology. So the mouth of the characters will be will be talk when we talk like that. The character will be open like when we open our mouth but yeah uh, so i started to learn dubbing years ago but uh i interest with this dubbing like several years ago and i start to dubbing class with a lot of successful mentor yes with all of mentor and yeah you know like i'm a little bit nervous now <laughs> but yeah i don't know guys so the animation that i use uh in this video that i put in this video is pure from Indonesia. So this is Indonesia animation and it which is it used um Bahasa or Indonesian language. But for this talent, for this show, dubbing it in English. Because I know guys you're all not just only from my country, you're all also another country and you guys use English. So yeah. Uh, so let's start it. So I use six voice in this uh, video, like Miss Molly, which is the sister mom, uh, Kiko, Spa, um, Fifi, and the last is uh, Platino, and the last is the baby, actually the baby is the easier. Miss Molly, uh, it's simple, Miss Molly is easy for me because it used my own voice actually, but a little bit uh, has to, a little bit smooth like this where i have to find another babysitter oh yeah i have to tell you guys in dubbing we not only show our voice we have to only show our uh intonation our uh face how we expression so that it's gonna be make the dub yeah i don't really know i am perfect at that or not you guys can scar me okay like mrs molly first like this and another babysitter. Ugh, I called everyone. Come in, come in. Let me introduce my children. This is V, like that, okay? And about the uh, second characters is Kiko, which is his boy to choose my uh, boy uh, voice. If I use this uh, Kiko's voice, I have to, you know, like, my lips will be like this. 
you know, it's like, you know, hey, Miss Molly, I'm sorry. It's my friend, Platino. You know, he'll help you. Can you see the difference of Miss Molly and Kiko? Mm-hmm. And the third, characters, the third characters is Spike. It's a little bit difficult, a really, really 100% difficult. Uh, voice from Tommy, voice from, yes, every everything in my body. Um, I ever use this, this, this Spike's voices for a witch, you know, like, not a witch, like, um, cool witch, like Harry Potter witch, you know, a witch with corn head, you know, and what they tag, uh, like this. Mom, it's Auntie Jill, okay? We won't throw some mirror. Today, we're gonna kick them. Can you see the difference? Oh my gosh, you're so good. <laughs> I, uh, Platino, about four characters, is Platino. It's uh, maybe easy for me, but yeah, it has to a little bit make you a bit boss. Like, hello, we must help him. It's like that, like a giant voice, but it's more. Slow. And the five characters is Fifi. I like Fifi. I like the voices of Fifi. You know, like this is my content voice. This good voice is like I don't like I uh, like I so really like this voice like this. Operation today star. <laughs> yes, thank you. Like cute voice. I like this Fifi voice. And the last is the baby, yeah, you know, like the baby is just like a baby with a small voice, little, uh, a coin, but a small, like, baby, bye, just like that. Oh, my. Uh, so if everyone wants to ask me something, just ask me. So first of all, before I ask you something, I think that's such a cool talent. Honestly, <laughs> you made me laugh so much. It was such a nice video. And I honestly also want to congratulate you on doing that in front of so many people you've never seen because my god that that takes courage so really great job so the question that i just wanted to ask you is um i know that in the introduction sophie was talking about how you joined dubbing uh a year ago because there was a club in your um but i just wanted to know like what was what was your like reason to be drawn towards dubbing in particular um and i think it's such a cool and like i think it's really just such a unique talent because i've literally never heard of it before (laughs) cool thing like not not in a bad way but i've never heard of anyone who did dubbing before so i think it's so cool to have such an original talent and i'd love to know the inspiration behind it Okay, Cleona, thank you for the question. I explore my first is something like, actually, I'm a silent girl, you know, like I don't really like too much uh, talk in front of so many people around me, but yeah, maybe it's going to be so um, fun for me if I show my voice, but not with um, my, my me like that, but only my voice, but yeah, I I just hope uh, people can feel also with my voice. And also, uh, I think that the dubber in Indonesia it's not funny. So yeah, I want to be uh, one of them. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool! That's such a lovely like sentiment about that. How you felt like you know as a shy person and that you didn't use your voice much that dub you a new voice and I think it's so cool that you can express yourself in that way so well done yeah that's been a lot for me